and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I wanted to do a look that was mostly using drugstore products. I did use maybe one or two things that are high end, but I stuck mostly to drugstore, which is a big accomplishment. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Take in the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I am picking up my beauty blender and applying that lightweight, very natural finish foundation all over my face. Uh, this is definitely at the top of my list of favorite drugstore foundations. It's a very affordable, of course. It wouldn't be drugstore if it wasn't, but definitely a list drugstore foundation. Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer and I am just correcting my lids and prepping them for the eyeshadow application. Taking the Morphe palette, Morphe 35F palette, and the Smith Cosmetics 232 brush, I'm applying that beautiful shade there as my transition shade above, on, and a little bit below my crease, and just uh, blending that baby out as always. Just blend, blend, blend away. And now I'm picking up this shade from the same palette and the Smith 235 brush. And I am applying this to the outer corner and to the crease and just blending that out, bringing it together with that shade that I applied prior to this one. Picking up this shimmery shade from the Morphe palette and the Smith 256 brush, I am applying that shade on my lids, but only halfway across the lids. I am now picking up this more bronzy shade, another shimmer shade off the same palette and I am applying that right at the center of my lid. And with this, I am going to blend in both that first shimmer shade and then the outer color that I applied on the outer corner. And I am blending all of that together to make the look very seamless. Taking my NYC liquid eyeliner, I am doing a very simple eyeliner, nothing too dramatic. And now I'm taking the Tanya Crooks, the Brow Gal Brow Pencil, and I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows. Taking up the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer once again, and I'm going to correct my under eyes. Taking just a little bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, I am going to quickly set my under eye and the sides of my nose to make this part of my face look very matte. I like the matte look in the center of my face. And now I'm taking this CoverGirl True Blend Sculpting Palette and I am using the Smith Cosmetics 212 brush and I am bronzing my face with this product. Now taking the Wet n Wild highlighter and this Morphe M510 brush, I am going to highlight the highest points of my face, such as my cheekbones, my brow bones, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. 
Now my lash application, once again, I'm using that technique where I apply the lash glue directly to my lash line and then just quickly apply the lash. It's so fast, you guys, you have to try it. So taking my Makeup Geek Define Crease Brush, I am going to apply this shade to my lower lash line and just blend it out very quickly and simply. And now I'm applying, once again, the Better Than Sex Mascara to my lower lash line. Highlighting the inner corner of my eye with the same Wet n Wild highlighter that I applied to my face. Now this is a high-end product. This is the Kevin Aquan Liquid Lipstick. And it's in this beautiful red shade because you know, I always jump into these videos and I don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of just play around. I kind of know what mood I'm in for if I want to do something colorful or do something soft. So at the end, I said, you know what? I'm going to do a bold red lip and this is what I went with. This is the Milani Amore Matte in the color Devotion and it is a very deep blood red absolutely stunning i love how it brought the whole look together and i'm just happy with how it turned out and last but not least i am setting my face with the anastasia beverly hills dewy setting spray and that's it you guys all right guys that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and are able to accomplish the look along with 